Hey everybody, Allie Bloyd here, and today's video is going to cover how to insert interactive links into your PDFs. This is going to be really useful in something like a lead magnet, where you give your prospects information, and at the end you want to send them to a URL, you want to give them an action to take, and this is the way that you're able to do that. So I'm in InDesign right now. This is going to be the page, uh, the final page of my lead magnet. So what I want to do is I want to attach a URL to this text right here so that they can click on this and open my web page for this specific training program so that they can learn more and hopefully enroll. So the way that I'm going to do that is I'm going to go to Window, and then I'm going to go to Interactive, and I'm going to go to Hyperlinks. So it's going to open my hyperlinks panel. This is already selected, so then I'm going to go and type in allybloydmedia.com slash training program, and I'm going to hit enter. The next thing that you're going to need to do is make sure that your file is in RGB. You would do this when you set up your document, but you're also going to want to go to edit and go to transparency blend space and make sure that it's in document RGB. Um, so this is going to be for print, uh, or I mean this is going to be for web viewing typically, not specifically print, which is what InDesign is typically used for. So now that I have that set up, I'm going to go to File, and I'm going to export it. And I'm going to export this, and we'll just call it Test, and it needs to be on PDF Interactive. Typically my PDFs are always under PDF Print, but because it's interactive, this is the way that you want it to be saved. So you're going to hit save, and I want to view after exporting. Typically, I'll do 144 resolution on anything that's going to be viewed on web, just so it's a smaller file size, but the images are still crisp and clear. So I'm going to hit OK. Don't need to know that. And here we go. The PDF is going to come up. This is just a template at the moment, but this is going to be my final page. Now I'm going to click here to learn more. And slowly but surely, it should bring up the Remodel Your Marketing Training Program. So now someone could view all of the information about my course and my training program straight from the PDF that they got from me to learn something related to my business. So it's really as simple as that. You should try and add links in every PDF that you plan on giving to your prospects because if you're not, you're just wasting an opportunity to send them to a, a, page, <laughs> a page where they could take that next step. So I really hope this helps and stay tuned for the next video. Thanks.